hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Morocco! Oh. So guys, we are back here in this awesome Let's Play where I finally discovered a great way to the, of declaring war on Algiers without getting the Ottomans involved, which would be terrible. And the way I've thought of it is I'm just going to declare war on Granada, which is way easier and way weaker, and they'll just go crush all of Algiers' army. Just I'm just going to fabricate a claim onto... Onto these little weak guys over here, declare war on them, and then, you know, steal the land. It's as easy as that. And, yeah. So, yeah. I took a break for that, so everyone congratulate me, because I came up with a good war plan. So, but yeah. We're going to do that, and I have to kind of get back into things right now. It's been like a couple weeks since I've actually been able to, like, look at this campaign. So I have to remember what we're doing. Alright, so yeah, that's about right, that's about right, that's about right, that's about where it should be. Uh, piety. Wow, we're really pious in this let's play. Okay, airs. Wow, I really wish my commander would die right now, because our air is awesome! Like, this guy right here, we should use him for westernization. He'd be the perfect dude. In fact, yeah, we could probably westernize pretty quickly in this game, because all we need to do is just make sure that we touch one European province, and we're good. And let me just keep making, keep pushing all my ships. Yeah. Oh yeah, making ships again. Okay. I'm, I'm remembering all this. Let me turn down the volume so you guys can hear my beautiful, sexy voice. Yeah. They all got, they, they all got you turned on. <laughs> I'm just joking, joking. No, just joking, guys. Don't, don't take that seriously or anything like that. So I'm going to start patrolling some of the nodes. I think I'm going to start patrolling the uh, Safari. Safi node because I don't usually get to patrol that one too often so it's gonna patrol that and I'm gonna wait for my claims to come in uh, I'm still improving the relationship with the Ottomans because we want to be BFF with the Ottomans because you know what being BFF with the Ottomans is never a bad thing I'm gonna reduce inflation because inflation is really bad in this game like severely bad and as you guys all know the key to this game is not the fact you need a big army it's the fact you need money and then you can build a big army, which is called merc mercantilism. Or, <laughs> not mercantilism, oh gosh. Um, this is, yeah, that's actually a pretty funny story. I know somebody in the comments is going to be like, it's called merchantilism, or merchantilism, or something like that. People are going to be like saying that in the comment section, and I'm going to be like, uh, well, I'm sorry guys. Um, basically, basically the reason why I say it like that is because of my, uh, US, US, you can blame my AP US teacher. Because, she always pronounced it merchantilism. Mercantilism, and I'm just like, no, it's mutual, mutual. What? It's mercantilism, and so I was just like, I said it right before, and now I just cannot say it right anymore. So, <laughs> for, for the life of me, I just can't remember. I got my claim. I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop this story, and we're just gonna go to war. Okay? Okay. Get take Gibraltar. Let's just declare war. And you guys are gonna join in because that's the only reason why I'm declaring war right now, is to get your land. Okay? Like, you better join in, and I better get all my ships. Shoot! Okay, all ships go dock up in a centralized place. Okay, like... Like, you guys go right here, you guys go right there. And do we have anything else that we might need? No, I don't have any men for, like, or no money for, like, mercenaries and stuff like that. I could get some more mercs. Are we at a force limit? We could increase it by just a little bit, but I think this will be enough. We have a good, decent... Actually, I hope decent commander who I hope will die and we'll turn down the speed so I could Deal with everything. Okay. We at war with the uh, yes. We're at war with Algiers. Okay I'm gonna wait for my allies army to group up with mine. Oh wait. No attack <laughs> Can't let them escape. That's one thing you should never let you should never let Muslim nations do is let them escape Because once they escape they become a big pain in your butt. Like, seriously, I don't know why, but Algiers is a big pain in the butt if you do not kill them quick. Okay, let's fast forward just a little bit faster, combine all of our ships, let's start doing some good old sieging, or good old, uh, destroying all its trade ports. Um, they have a slightly bigger army than me, which is scary, okay? I have to make sure that army does not group up with the other one right over there. I saw, like, a one stack being formed. That is not good. We have to make sure that army does not get over here. Okay, and over here we have our 13 ships with no general, just patrolling, just kind of chilling. Um, could this fight? Oh, yeah, this could easily fight these guys. So let's just go start 
Let's just go start a... No, 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 no. Go right here. We don't want them... We don't want them to regroup with their friends. Okay. Okay. Let's just see. Yes! The stain! Good. Good. Okay. Can I escape still? Telemkin, June 3rd. June 4th. Dang it! Ah. Uh, okay. What we're going to have to do is stop them first. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do is do this. We're going to divide our army... Okay, because they're going to they're gonna keep running and they're gonna annoy me forever if I keep doing this. And this is just gonna turn into a game of cat and mouse. Which is something I don't wanna do. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna detach a siege. Um that's not what actually I wanted. So detach another siege. No, this is really not what I want. Can you guys detach a siege? Detach there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have you go in the front, and the rest of the people that are stationary coming after them. That way, the horsemen should get there before everyone else. Let's see. Uh, the two horsemen, June 22nd, June 22nd, 3rd. It should get there just slightly bit earlier, so that means that these guys right here cannot fly like June 21st. How are they still escaping me? Gosh dang. Okay. Um, well, since that's gonna happen, I think this might be a little bit of a stalemate. So what I'm going to do is build a little bit of of soldiers in the meantime, not higher mercenaries, I mean, because I don't want to build actual soldiers because that would be stupid. Okay, build some these guys. Let's just, you know, I'm just going to chase them. Dang it! Stop doing that! Okay, just fast forward a little bit because you guys are annoying me. There we go. We increase our relationship with the Ottomans to 100. That's good. Um, we already have an alliance with the Mamelukes. They're their most hated enemy. Could we get an alliance with you guys? I, I bet we could if we really pushed it. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to have an alliance with you guys too. Um, seems like our worthy of note friends, the uh, Tripolians, have decided to take the initiative and start to siege a new province. That's good. Okay, you guys just follow them. We're going to hunt these guys down until they are until they are battle ridden. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Why does this always happen? Why does this always Oh! Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, I was about to say, why does this always happen? They're not supposed to win. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is that transports? Those are transports. So that means... Okay. Uh, let's go siege actually over here so that... I don't want... I really don't want the 7k stack to come over here to this battle. Because this battle is really only between me and them. And you guys go chase down the army. Because I want that army dead. Okay? We gotta make sure that army dies. Okay? Just make sure that army dies. That's all I care about. Okay? That's all I care about. Just make sure that army dies. Okay? Okay. That That's gonna kill the army right there. They're not gonna be able to escape. There we go. Okay. And now, break down sieges, because I know they have no other army besides that. And we're just gonna siege their entire holdings. And that was the war with, with Algeria, where I'm going to take as much as I need to get everything um is there any way i can like let's see is there any like nations i can free from them no okay i can't free any nations from them so that means i'm just going to take as much as i need like i'm probably going to take like telemkin langwood biscotta just basically i'm going to try to take like all of this especially langwood because i need a good passage between my land and yeah we're just gonna have fun with that. I might even go, if I really am lazy, I might even go, like, go take over Granada. Oh, and... Oh, dang it, they actually built a real fleet. An actual real army. Uh, really? Really? You guys just cannot stay down, can you? I'm gonna go back here, too, because these guys can't siege down these holdings. Unless I'm here. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay, they have a four stack. That's pretty dangerous. They're coming at me with a three step. Gosh, dang it. Go. Go, my mercenary mercs. Okay. There we go. I've locked him. Haha. -ha. Okay. Is my is my ally really that dead? Oh, by the way, can I call in you guys? Call in arms? No. Gosh dang it. Okay. Well, then you guys just continue your siege. Just continue your sieges. I think once these two guys right here are done, I'm going to group them up and then go destroy that six stack right there. Just have to wait a second. Come on, guys. Finish up your sieges. Come on. Finish them up. Finish. Finish. Wow. 
That is the worst coincidence I've ever seen. The one I needed to finish up does not finish up. Okay, now you guys finish up. Okay, we're going to group up. We're all going to go attack at the same time. That way we can destroy their army, and that way we can make sure they all die. Okay, 13 men, probably like 8 on my side and like 4 on my other vassal side. Destroy them. Do not let them escape. Just chase them if you have to. We're not letting these guys escape. There we go. Okay, they all dead. They all dead. Okay. Get grouped down. Start sieging. Start sieging everything. Okay. Start sieging everything. Okay, one more siege to do it. There we go. And there we go. And this is going to be the entire land of Algiers. Completely underneath my siege. Um, I'm also going to go over here because this actually makes the sieges go quicker and it's also fun to battle their army Except when I start losing don't you dare start losing. Thank you. Good job Miller. Good job Navy Don't lose <laughs> if, if there's an ever more lesson here do not lose so I will destroy you Okay, and this should also make the sieges go slightly bit quicker um, book burning P Reports coming and uh, reports in our yeah, whatever. Do I want to lose piety or gain piety? Well, let's gain piety. I can go up the next tech group. Huzzah! Good job. Okay, let's continue. All right, let's see. I just fast forward through all this. I don't really need to be waiting in on anything. Siege, one of the sieges is done. Go this way. Okay. And it seems like Algae has just got a random army oh I missed the siege I missed a little tiny place over there okay well it's only one soldier and he can't honestly do much so I'm just gonna group all my soldiers into one place let's just finish up the siege right here I finished up their fleet um now I think they'll all be treating over here so I'm going to go blockade over here and once I got this all carried away uh there we go Group up all these units, go attack the last little bit of army. Actually, let's see if I can actually get what I want right now. Because they're pretty low right now on the social ladder, so let's just see. Let's just see, I want all that. Will they give that to me? No, they'll give me that. Uh, well, I have a mission to get to Lemkin, don't I? No, I do not have... Oh, I thought... Hmm... I thought I had a mission to get to Lemkin. Well, I'll get this for right now, but I guess I guess I don't have a mission to get to Lemkin. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why I thought I got a mission to get to Lemkin, but we could do this. Um, canceling this would also be very very good for us. Um, and if we have to take down, if we have to take back a province, that would be, you know, worth it. I mean, 75 overextension. Uh, it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be pretty insane. And yeah, we can't make him our vassal, sadly. So this is what we want. We want to make sure that they destroy their lines with with Mo, with the Ottomans, so that we can instantly do some stuff with them. And yeah, this is this is definitely what we want to do. So I'm gonna keep him in the war just for a little bit longer. Siege up that last little province right here. Okay. Because we want to make sure that when the next war comes, they'll be easy to take out. So, we're just going to siege this last little province and get that last little 100%. And then after that, we're just going to leave Gibraltar alone. Gibraltar's going to live on its little death island stack of death forever. Because I already know that they're probably going to get taken over by Madrid or Castile. So, they're not exactly the best place ever to be. So, there we go. Seize them down, they're in the battles, but they'll probably lose. Let's just get to these guys. Okay. And you guys are under a Regency Council too, that's even terrible. Okay, so now they will accept all my demands. We can also revoke the wars with Granada, you guys will give me money. Okay. Uh, transfer trade power. No, I can't get arranged that. You do not have enough diplomatic power to enforce this. How much diplomatic power will this cost me? 215. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, we might be in this war for a very long time. Anyways, uh, our fleet's destroying them. <laughs> With the help of our Tripolian allies, we've destroyed their fleet. And I'm going to detach the uh, mercs that are working for us. 
just hire them because then I'll make us get back into positive moolah. Uh, right now we are we can raise more time taxes, which would be pretty nice, pretty sweet. And we're just basically going to keep this war going until I can, uh, you know, uh, do that war deal I want to do. Okay, I'm also going to split up my uh, shipbuilding or ships so that we're completely occupying them 100%. Granada is going to. Moroccan vessel. No, nope, they will not do that. <laughs> I thought I thought they weren't gonna do that, but you know, I, I was at least trying. I was at least trying, but yeah, we're gonna have to wait until we get 215, or we could we could do a smaller peace deal. But the most important thing is that we definitely get Algiers, Algiers to give us some land so that we can link up. So we can link up. I mean, we can we can decrease that much. How much will? Let's see. 170. Eh, I, I really, I don't think I can go any lower than this because uh, it'll be really hard to vassalize him if I go any lower than this. Uh, it'd be, it'd be really hard to vassalize him. So yeah, I'm going to have to go with the 215. I can't go any lower, so we're just gonna be in this war for a very long time, just kind of relaxing and you know, sieging down all these Granada places. I'm gonna let my troops heal back in their land. You know, peasants have revolted. You know, this, this, all this stuff is going to happen. I'm going to have to deal with it. Um, let's see, how much are we gaining monthly? Okay, so lose stability, gain ten prestige, or lose ducats. We can lose ducats right now. I'm not particularly in the mood for money because I'm pretty sure that I'm not really going to get many revolts right now. Like, I'm almost fairly certain that I'm going to be able to crush any revolts that happen. Right now I have a free diplomat, so let's see, is there anyone that we need to improve relationships with? Eh, why don't we... You're in a personal union with Poland. Sweet. That's good to know, Austria. Um, why don't we improve relationships with you guys? Because you never know when you might need the Holy Roman Emperor to come in and save your booty. So, let's do that. Don't really want to... I could also improve relationship with these guys. I mean, they don't seem like they hate me. And you're under... Are you in a personal union with Burgundy? In a personal union, union under... Oh my goodness. Castile is under a personal union with Burgundy. Wow. I never saw that one coming. Okay. Uh, Portugal still hates us, so I don't think they'll get... They'll like us. Um, no one else we can improve relationship with that would be the big baddie uh we could try improving relationships with the pope you know we may be different religions but you could still like us pope e nah uh friends how you guys doing eh, they, they could actually like us a lot better so let's start improving relationship with them and having big allies having big christian allies with you does help in the long run okay okay yeah don't don't worry i'll get you guys out don't worry you just have to wait until my peace deal is actually good Okay, it'll take like, at the most, six more months, and then I'm done. Okay, and then we'll both be out of this war, and then I can give Granada its peace, and then we can... Oh my goodness. The only thing that might kill me is these rebels that are just, like, annoying. Because they're like, we want to get out of this war now, man. I don't know what we're fighting for anymore. I'm like, we fight for the sanctity and the nationality of Morocco. That's what we fight for. I don't care if you guys are sick, tired, and have the flu, we will fight till the war is over with. But the war is over, that's what some of the soldiers may say, but son, the war is never over. Okay, now we can get our peace deal. Okay, actually son, oh wait, we call the one that's going to France because I can recall that one. Okay, come on, get back, get back to, get back to our land before another rebellion pops up. There we go. Okay. Algiers, let's get you out of the war. You guys will get everything I just demanded. There we go. Yes. Wahaha. Okay. Granada, for you two, I'm just going to get a white piece. We'll get a white piece. Just white piece. Uh, I would love you to become my vassals, but I don't think that's not going to happen. So just white piece. And there we go. And voila! For instance, we could start coining that, but how close are we to technology growth? Eh. Eh. Hmm. 
Let's see. Yeah, we, we should probably call this. Let's be real here. I mean, they're already accepted culture and everything. We just need to call it. So, yeah. There we go, guys. We have expanded Morocco to the edges of, of the earth. We are now in perfect position to do a lot of things. I think we can also annex these guys now, too. Let's see. Uh, you have no diplomat to send. Give me about six more days. Okay. Do I now have a diplomat? Yes! Oh, we can start the annexations of Tripoli. Oh, my goodness. And now Morocco is going to spread from here to there. And with that, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.